Okay guys, it's me Imad. So today in this video tutorial, we will learn about how to simulate our interface in ESP32 with a 4 cross 4 keypad. As we are using an online simulator, so you are not supposed to install any sort of software. Here in Google, we will write Vokvi. After you have uh, write Vokvi, you need to click on this wokfi.com and it will give us a lot of options for a lot of microcontrollers. So now we have our ESP32 microcontroller and we have got circuit window on the right hand side and coding window on the left hand side. Now this is our ESP32. So we will go and we will take our keypad this our keypad which seems a little bit big than the esp32 so we will press ctrl and negative or ctrl and minus sign so it will uh, like it will make this window and uh, its components a little bit smaller so we can okay we can properly connect them out now we have eight of our pins from r1 to c4 these are four pins of our keypad it is a 4 cross 4 keypad which simply means that it has 4 rows and 4 columns. Now how we can connect it out? We have obviously there are certain pins. Okay. So we will go for our R1 pin and we will connect it with the pin number 33 of ESP32 okay so okay so this is pin number 33 D33 of ESP32 okay and what about R2 we will connect it with the 25 number pin of ESP32 you can change the pins and if you will change them in the circuit so you must have to change them in the coding then what about R3 uh, we will connect it with the pin number 26, the 26 of ESP32. And what about R4, okay? R4 with D14, okay? So we will connect it with the D14. Now what about C1? C1 needs to be connected with the D27. So we will, okay, so this is D27 like this and c2 with pin number 13 okay we will search them out with d13 and c3 with d22 c3 with d with d22 Okay, so this is our connection. Okay, now what we need to do is to connect it like this. And what about this C4? C4 must be connected with C4 must be connected with the pin number 4, okay? Pin number 4. So where it is? This thing, okay? We will go and okay with four and i think that one has remaining or we have connected all the pins i think that we have connected all the pins. one two three four five six seven and eight okay okay we can make it like this okay now we have connected all the pins now come towards coding so first of all we will import one library a library will be used for to import all the functions hash include keypad dot h okay this is an inbuilt library of VOKV, so you are not supposed to import it from the library manager now we will define two variables with the data types const int okay const int are its data types we will write rows is equal to 4 and const int calls is equal to 4 actually what is this rows and columns or rows and calls are two variables which has 
data types of const int now wherever it is written rows it means four and where it is written calls it simply means four okay so now we will go for our next variable which is called as keys which is called as keys but what what sort of data it can store it can store character type data you yes we can change the name of the variables okay we can write keys keys one keys underscore zero or any other name of our own choice so it is keys and we will write uh, okay wait let me write out okay now this is a two-dimensional array okay what sort of array it is two-dimensional array and uh, we will write rows oh sorry we can write here rows and here columns calls so in rows it is written four and calls all obviously represent four okay now keys is a two-dimensional what's called as two-dimensional array okay means that we can uh, write uh, 16 things in it okay how we can simply write like this comma and this against a separating comma and this and one separating comma and obviously this thing now what what we can write in this we can write the the map of the keypad that is one because it is written here one then two okay comma then we can write two or oh, sorry it's two then comma then we can write three then comma then we can write four so one two three eh? oh sorry it's not a uh, three it's a okay because it is written here a then we write four five six and b so we will write uh, four five six and b okay so we will write here b okay then seven eight nine c seven eight seven eight nine and c so then in the fourth one we will write steric oh, sorry uh, we will write steric comma then zero then hash then d okay so it is steric zero hash and d okay so this is this thing now we will uh, go for certain other things which are u int 8 means that 8 bit integer okay now now this is a second data type we are not going into the complexity we will just write call pins okay now you you just uh, know that it is a one dimensional array now we are defining a one dimensional array for our pins okay uh, pins of microcontrollers and again we will write copy c copy this and here we will write row pins row pins because we have defined here uh, rows and columns and then we we have defined two other variables that is call pins and row pins and they have calls and rows again the same thing because calls represent four and uh, rows represent four so 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 their length is uh, okay it, it is it is one dimensional array so uh, because two dimension has both rows and columns but here we have just uh, obviously just single row and multiple columns here so we will write uh, the name of the pins to which our our keypad has been connected so here we will write the name of the pins of esp32 so these are 27 comma 13 
comma 20 2 comma 4 because these are for columns and we will write 33 comma 25 comma 26 and 14 26 comma 14 so this is uh, the mapping or, or what's called as the mapping for our uh, connections that to which pins our uh, pins of keypad are has been connected okay so all this is about that now we will go and we will introduce one built-in function of keypad.h library here we will write a keypad now this is a class this is a class and this is object first keypad is class and the second is an object and why we have defined this object because we want to fetch certain functions which lies inside this main keypad class so keypad keypad we will write is equal to now we will write keypad and this thing okay now this keypad is also a function now this keypad is a function name of the class and the name of the function are same here okay and here we will write make key map make key map okay make key map and uh, what, what is inside this key map we will write keys we will write keys this is the first parameter which is submitted into the make key map function okay we are not going into the complexities of each and everything because certain because it is an inbuilt function of voke v so we just know that keys has been okay keys are the parameter parameter means the data is going to this make key map function so which belongs to sorry yes this is the first thing and make key map okay is the function and uh, these two brackets that is which is around keys is actually belongs to make key map function so it is keys now we will write uh, comma okay sorry we we can write here keys and we will write here row pins row pins comma or oh, sorry row pins yes row pins call pins call pins rows and calls rows and calls now what is this actually now this make key map function has four sorry has two parameters the first one is keys and this is the combination of multiple parameters that is row pins call pins rows and calls and obviously row pins is actually related with this sorry this one and call pins related with this thing okay means that these things and rows and calls simply means that this is rows and calls one just like it is if it is one one then it means one okay like this and if it is one two it seems it it means this two okay and if it is four four it simply means this d okay so it is like that so after this has been done we will go for white setup and it is written shield dot begin eleven five two zero zero. Okay, now we will move towards our wide loop, and here we will write a character one data type key. Key is the name of the data type is equal to key paid. Okay, it it is with small one now. This thing has been used. That is character key is equal to key paid keypad dot get key dot get key keypad dot get key
character key is equal to key paid dot get key so we can write seal dot print ln now what this function will do seal dot print ln and here we will write key and delay of must be there must be delay of 800 milliseconds okay now dot get key function will get the key that whenever we will press the fun uh, we will press any key from the keypad get key function will get the key and will store it inside this key variable and we will print it out so now we will run it out if there isn't any sort of error they said there is comma missing so we will write here yes where we need to write a comma here okay so the side there must be okay again the side call spins and uh, key page oh, where 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 there are showing some problems here that is key paid and key paid and here key paid make key map of keys then comma then okay there must not be there must not be this bracket okay all these parameters now make key map of keys is first parameter this is second third fourth and fifth parameter now we will run it out now it is running now we will write one it is written one and it is written two now we will press two we will press three okay wait let me see two i have pressed two then five then eight okay as we have introduced some more delay so so it is better to reduce it to 300 okay if it is 300 we we will get a lot of thing so so now it is 5 and it is 6 and it is c and it is d so in this way we can write uh okay we can write anything of our own choice so hopefully you got the concept that how you can interface or simulate an esp32 with that of four cross four keypad so thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe